Introducing Nanobox Lemon Drop Polyphonic Granular Synthesizer. In this video, we will look deeper into the Lemon Drop and cover its features in greater detail. When the Lemon Drop powers on, you see the dashboard appear on the touchscreen. At the top of the dashboard, in white text, is the currently loaded preset. You can touch the preset name to see the preset list. Use either knob to scroll the list. Touch load to load a preset. You can also touch load to reload a preset. This refreshes the preset back to its previously saved state. The Lemon Drop features the same preset management system found in our other devices. You can create a new preset, delete, duplicate, or rename a preset from the file menu. All presets, WAV files, and firmware are stored on the included micro SD card. In the upper right corner is a small spinning icon that represents the current beat number and tempo Lemon Drop is currently following. The Lemon Drop can follow MIDI clock, analog clock, or you can set the internal tempo in the preset settings by pushing the right arrow button from the dashboard. The preset settings include BPM, oscillator reset, and pitch bend range. Next, the two waveforms on screen represent the two wave files that are currently loaded. Touch one of the waveforms to enter the oscillator stack. Push the layer button to switch between the three oscillators. The tiny circles in the upper left corner indicate the current layer. There are three oscillators in the lemon drop, two granular oscillators, and one basic wave oscillator. You can use the wave oscillator to add an additional layer to thicken the output. It's easy to mix the three oscillators to find the sound you're looking for. The granular oscillators offer some familiar and some brand new parameters you're not likely to find in other granular synths. Let's start with the familiar. You can adjust pitch up or down two octaves for a total four octave spread. Level controls the output level of this oscillator. Density determines how many grains are playing back at any given time. Grain size determines the size of each grain. Window sets the range for grain selection centered around the current playback position. Now let's take a closer look at the settings that are unique to Lemon Drop. First, Pan Random spreads the grains across the left-right stereo field. Detune will add an amount of randomness to the pitch of each grain. Preserve Attack, when enabled, will draw from grains at the beginning of the wave file for the attack portion of the sound. This helps create a stronger attack for rhythmic playback. Jitter adds randomness to the playback timing of the grains. At 0%, it's machine-like. At 100%, it can be chaotic. Pattern adds a fixed interval of a perfect fifth or octave for every grain. This adds a rich harmonic texture to your sound. Beat Sync will play back your grains at the current tempo and subdivision. This is a great way to tame your grains and discover the new rhythmic possibilities from the Lemon Drop. When Beat Sync is disabled, the density is controlled as a percentage. When Beat Sync is enabled, density becomes rate and is set to musical subdivisions. When play mode is set to fixed, you can adjust the current play position as a percentage. When play mode is set to moving, you can adjust the start position, speed, and the loop mode for each granular oscillator. Touch the waveform displayed in the granular oscillator to load one of the 300 plus factory wave files or one of your own custom wave files. The lemon drop will load the first 30 seconds of any wave file. The basic wave oscillator can be configured as one of several wave shapes. Choose from saw, triangle, square wave with adjustable pulse width, sine, or noise. The pitch and level controls work the same here as they do in the granular oscillators. The bottom row of the dashboard provides various ways to shape your sound. You will see a series of moving gauges. These gauges provide feedback of various time-based operations inside the box. The Lemon Drop features two high-quality filters. From the dashboard, touch the filter button in the bottom row. Push the layer button to cycle between the two filters. Filter 2 can be configured to operate in serial or parallel to filter 1. Turn the top knob to select a parameter. Turn the bottom knob to adjust the parameter. You can also use the touch screen to adjust settings. This is a great way to perform with the filter or just dial in a setting. 
The Lemon Drop has two ADSR envelopes. Enter the envelope stack by touching the envelope button on screen. Again, use the layer button to navigate between the layers in the stack. Turn the knobs to adjust the shape of the envelope. You will see the shape change in real time to help you better visualize how the envelope is behaving. At the bottom of this list is the velocity setting. This controls the amount of influence the incoming velocity has on the envelope's behavior. The Lemon Drop provides a few onboard options for internal modulation. Touch the LFO sequence button to enter the modulation stack. Like the others, push the layer button to navigate the three layers. You get two LFOs and one internal modulation sequencer. The LFOs can be configured with a number of wave shapes, rates, depths, and even beat sync to keep everything in time. With beat sync enabled, you can adjust the rate in musical intervals. When beat sync is disabled, you can adjust the rate as a percentage. Use the touchscreen to draw on the modulation sequencer, or use the knobs to select a step and change its value. This is a bipolar sequencer and can be assigned to an available modulation target. Push the right arrow button to change the settings for the sequencer. You can adjust the step length, number of steps, re-triggering, and even quantize the pitch. When quantize is set to on, you will notice the steps move in fixed increments of 12 steps per side. This works great to modulate pitch in semitones, but you can use it to modulate anything you like. The Lemon Drop features great sounding effects inside the box. Push the effects button to enter the FX stack. Use the layer button to navigate the two layers. In layer one, you can choose from flanger, distortion, chorus, or phaser. In layer two, you can pick from reverb or delay. The Lemon Drop offers many ways to modulate the internal settings. From the dashboard, push the home button to navigate to the XY performance screen. Use the two knobs, or MIDI CC, to change the home position. Then use the touch screen to perform. Back on the dashboard, the knobs continue to adjust the home position, and the two tiny faders to the left of the knobs provide feedback to monitor the current XY home position. In addition to using the XY screen, you can also assign various modulators to parameters in all areas of the lemon drop. When you see the three tiny squares to the right of a parameter, you can push the right arrow button to enter the modulation assignment screen for that parameter. We give you a lot of options to choose from, like the internal envelopes, LFOs, and sequence. You can also assign MIDI velocity, aftertouch, key, or mod wheel, and of course, the X or Y axes of the XY path. Select any modulation target and touch the Learn button at the bottom of the screen. Send MIDI CC to learn the assignment. From the dashboard, push the Layer button to navigate to the same grid keyboard found in our samplers. Use the arrow buttons to shift octaves up or down. Touch Hold to hold notes. Push the right arrow button to set a scale and root note. This will help you stay in key. The root note is displayed in the far left and right columns in the grid. Push the left arrow button from the dashboard to see the global settings. In global settings, you can adjust the screen brightness, output level, the compressor, the MIDI channel the Lemon Drop responds to, and the MIDI CC assignments for the X and Y axes on the XY pad. At the bottom of the list, you can adjust the line input settings. And speaking of line input, the Lemon Drop features a line in connection on the rear panel. You can use the Lemon Drop as an effects unit for other synths, drum machines, or even a black box. Connect external gear to the line input. From the dashboard, push the left arrow button to navigate to the global settings. Turn the top knob to select the line through setting. Turn the bottom knob to adjust the input level. You can connect a mono or stereo signal. Navigate back to the effects stack and apply effects to the live input. You can also play the synth engine for an even bigger sound. But we didn't stop there. You can also granulate the live input. Navigate to the oscillator stack. 
Use the top knob to scroll to the bottom of the list. Turn the bottom knob to set live input to on. Now the oscillator will granulate the live input instead of the loaded wave file. When live input is enabled, the lemon drop maintains a rolling 20 second buffer. You can use the live position setting to control the playback position within that buffer. All of the other granular settings can now be used to transform any sound you like. Thanks for watching this video. We love the Lemon Drop and hope you do too. If you have any questions or would like more information on Nanobox, please contact us at 1010music.com.